All right, this is the highlights from our chat room trading session at greatstockpicks.com from um, Thursday, July 5th. This is Decker's Outdoor, D-E-C-K. Um, let me slide the portion of the member page over to show you what I'm talking about here. Um, this was on our watch list last night, D-E-C-K. You can see it right there. Um, the idea, the entry idea was 44.47 with a secondary possible catalyst for more upside at 44.64. So anyway, 44.47 uh, was the entry idea, and then if you look at today's candle, boom. Just a huge move. Hit 44.47, our catalyst, um, about six minutes in. Now, um, and the stop would have been at the low of the day, so about uh, 47 cents risk, and from 44, give me one second here, from 44.47, it went to 47.73, a $3.26 move in our favor. Um, from the entry call, which was, I can find my drawing tool, which was right about here. That's supposed to be an arrow. Anyway, right, right about there. Um, now, I have to mention, I did not get this, okay? I typically don't look for entries for about 15 minutes. I, I spend the time building a watch list of high volume stocks so we can find trades on an intraday basis for our chat room members. So. I didn't get this, but we did have members that did. Uh, they just must have been focused on it. They maybe liked the idea, but just a huge move there. And if you look at it on 60s, you can see the big breakout um, on the daily. You can see the big candle today. So a really, really nice move. Uh, believe me, I wish I'd have gotten it, but uh, one of the fun things about running a chat room is I can at least uh, live vicariously through some members that did get that. I'm, I'm always happy to watch, uh, watch people make money, even if I missed it. I, I'm way past the point where I get mad or jealous. Okay, maybe a little jealous, but way, pa way past the point where I get mad if somebody gets something and I didn't. Um, you can only, and this is a good lesson for everybody, you can only be happy for other people that are taking money from the market. Um, anyway, my idea paid off, even though it paid off zero dollars for me. <laughs> we did have members uh, make some money from it. Um, Facebook, one of our all-stars, Turk called Facebook to today at 3112 so it basically looked like this this long base basically right about here 3112 stops gonna go about a dime below and it, it took a little bit to get going but uh, from 3112 it's actually uh, there's eight minutes left in the session and uh, it's hitting new highs or trying to hit new highs again so a great call uh, by B Turk um, and then one of my ideas from the day was uh, Avon, AVP, was interesting after the gap down and engulfed the previous day's close, which was Tuesday because the market was closed Wednesday. Um, it became interesting to me when it pulled back like this. I started watching it, showed their projection to the room, and then uh, some people in there grabbed it. I never made, um, I don't know that I gave it an entry and stop in this area, but then when it did this, when it did this, I had uh, several members celebrating and thanking me for it, so several members were selling into this pop. I never got it, but then I said to myself, well, you know, wait a minute. This still looks good on the daily. It was breaking out above a lot of stuff on the daily, and I loved the early volume, okay? So even though I missed this pop and I wasn't involved, I said basically, wait a minute. Let's see what it does on this pullback. And when it got down near this uh, blue line, the 5.8, I went ahead and grabbed it. The, re the reason I liked it, for one, strong stocks tend to bounce off that eight-period moving average, and for two, um, you see the high of day, the early high of day right here. If you draw a straight line in your mind, it basically was retesting the high of day break. That happens a lot. Ended up getting filled at 1640, and I said I was going to use a 20 cent stop, but really didn't have to because almost immediately I was green and selling some. Okay, so I sold some into this pop, went to a 1640 stop, which held, and then I sold some more at the high of day test. And uh, I was, uh, I never did sell into the high of day break there. Uh, I should have, but anyway, sold the rest. Uh, somewhere right about here. So anyway, it wasn't a huge trade, but uh, the idea made sense. And you know, I was kind of proud of myself for watching for the retest rather than in the past, I probably would have said, um, man, I missed that pop and just taken Avon, you know, pouted like a true man, pouted and taken Avon off my watch list. Instead, I uh, got a very nice grab on the pullback there and a nice trade. So anyway, um, that's the highlights from today. It's a slow summer holiday week, so not a lot of action, but uh, the, the folks in the chat are doing a great job at pointing out ideas. Uh, and when we do spot unusual volume, uh, shape and volume, as I like to say, and then trade the setups after that as they, uh, as they, as they happen. All right. Have a great night, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.